Hey guys, thanks for coming back, tuning in, watching, showing up, just being you. I appreciate it. Thanks much. And I'm going to talk about Luminar 3 with libraries again. If you saw my last video, which I hope you did, I just want to say thanks. It got a lot of views and lots of feedback and comments and shares and stuff. I really appreciate that. As you can tell, I was a little bit excited about uh, talking about Luminar 3. And part of it is I'm excited about the product. It's fun. The more I use it, the more I really start to like it. Um, I mean, I've always liked it, but I like it more and more, just like Luminar, right? Every time I use Luminar, I'm like, damn, man, this is just cool and it's fun. So I'm getting that way with the uh, Luminar 3 with libraries as well. Uh, but just wanted to say thanks for that. I appreciate it. Uh, all my Luminar videos going forward will be about Luminar 3. Uh, some will be about the uh, the library component, and some will just be editing videos as I've always done. Uh, there are no new filters in Luminar 3 with libraries. It is basically an update to the product that includes the library module. You get it for free if you have Luminar 2018 already. Um, and if you don't, there's a promo going on. As I talked about in the last video, you can check that link below. You can also use my coupon code GYMNIX and save 10 bucks. Um, plus, there's some bonus offers. I'm not going to talk about that here today. I'm going to talk about organizing and uh, like importing and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna try to make a series of a few videos I've got sort of in mind, kind of shorter to talk about some of the features and functions in Luminar 3. Okay, so let's get into the library. Boom, here we go. This is my all photos, right? So this is everything. If you watched that last video, you may recall I had a test pics library, which is this one, which is 26 unedited JPEGs that I just had on my desktop that I had actually pulled out of Lightroom. Uh, probably a month or two ago, just thinking I'd take them and maybe do videos about them. But instead, I'm currently using it as a test library just for fun. Um, and then I also, in that video, I added this uh, folder, which is 1,567 raw files that I shot on my recent trip to Seattle. So that's what that's all about. If you click this little arrow here, you can go back up to all photos. And as you see, when I did that, I also moved back to all photos over here. So I was in Seattle pics and going up, I moved back up to all photos. And it also has a number that shows you the total number there. So what I want to do is import photos. So the first thing I want to do is go over here to folders. I'm going to say plus, and I can just go grab a folder. So I'm going to grab this folder on my desktop, which is called 360 Bridge. It's a bridge near my house here in Austin. I went out with a friend a few nights ago and took a bunch of photos. Well, actually 73. They're all raw files. I was doing some long exposures. I'm going to hit add and boom, guess what? There they are, they're already in Luminar. And that's what I like about it, it's so quick. Um, and these are raw files, right? If you wanna know if it's a raw file, you click on it, you can see down here it says ARW, that is the Sony uh, nomenclature for raw files. So I'm gonna go back up to, now you can see the folder here, 360 bridge. Um, so what it does, it quickly scans indexes and it makes them viewable, right? If you look to my last video, my first look video about Luminar 3, I added this Seattle pics. Um, a folder which is over 1500 raw files and it was pretty instantaneous. One of the beauties of Luminar 3. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add another folder. So you can just say plus again and this time I've got test pics 2 which is just a bunch of completely finished and edited JPEGs. You can see they're in full they're full color glory which I love compared to this test pics folder some of which are actually the same photos. These are unedited. I pulled out of Lightroom thinking hey maybe I'll do some videos about something in, you know, as I mess around with these photos, which is what I do a lot. I set things aside, mess with them, and try to decide if it's worthy of a video. Uh, but in this case, I just took a bunch of finished JPEGs just because I wanted to stick them in here. And there's a couple things I want to talk about, so I'm going to go ahead and launch into that now. Now, the first thing to be aware of with the folder structure is it's just mirroring the folder structure that's on your hard drive, on your desktop, wherever it is that you're pulling it from. If it's a cloud source, that's fine too. I did that in the last video where I dropped some photos from Dropbox. I've since removed those. And in fact, if you come over here and want to remove a folder from your library, you can just, I'm on a Mac, so it'll be a right click on a, a PC, I believe. But on a Mac, it's just control and then click. And you can say, you know, you can rename that folder. Uh, and in fact, let me just do that. I'm going to call this uh, edited, no, I'm going to call it finished pics, all right? Finished pics, right? So now, let me show you something. You can also right click or control click and you say show in Finder. And in Finder is on Mac, just where you can see your um, um, folder structure or whatever. You'll notice that this folder is now called Finished Picks. It's no longer called Test Picks 2. It actually changed the name. And if you want, I'll just show you on my desktop. It's right here, Finished Picks, right? I've got this 360 bridge. 
I've got some other stuff that I'm working on that you'll see later. There's my Seattle picks. There's my original test picks. But this finished picks was called test picks two. Well, I'm gonna, uh, oops, I'm not gonna open it. I'm just gonna rename it back to test picks two. Test picks two. And now let me go back to Illuminar and it's test picks two. So the file structure and the naming, um, you can change it in Luminar, it'll change it uh, in the source, right? Your desktop, your external drive, your cloud, whatever it is. Or if you change it there, it'll be reflected in Luminar if it's already been added as a folder. So I think that's really cool and super fun, to be honest. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna rename this edited, uh, no, what did I call it? Finished picks. Not like you can answer me. I am recording this. So, hey, that reminds me. Do you want me to do any live things on YouTube? I keep thinking about that. There's a lot of people that do live stuff on YouTube. I've been thinking about doing some live stuff. Let me know. Leave me a comment if you would. Okay. Um, so this is now Finished Picks. And if you want to see it again, just because make sure I'm not doing any funny tricks, uh, there it is, Finished Picks. So keep that in mind. The folder structure and the naming is the same, right? Um, it mirrors each other. So Luminar and your folder structure are always going to stay in sync. I think that's super freaking cool. I like that a lot. So um, here's another thing you can do. So I'm gonna do control click, or I think it's right click on PC. Sorry, I haven't had a PC in like 10 or 12 years. Um, I'm gonna uh, add a new subfolder. Yeah, so I'm in finished picks, and this is gonna be uh, best picks. Let's just call it best picks. Now, Jim, it's grayed out and there's zero in it. That's right, because I haven't added any to it. So I'm gonna go to finished picks. And I'm going to say my best picks. And, and, you know, hey, everybody's got their own definition of best. I'm just going to say uh, maybe that picture from Oregon goes there. Maybe this one from Venice goes there. Notice now it's not grayed out and it's got two photos in it. If I click on it, those are the two that I added. Let me show you something. Let me go to finished picks folder. And guess what I have? I now have best picks. And I have that Oregon sunset. And I have that Venetian sunset as well. Again, the folder structure is mirrored back and forth. So... Pretty cool stuff, and that's an interesting thing, I think, in terms of the organization, and I like it a lot because there's a lot of times when I might just want to just create subfolders and categorize things, and it'll mirror. So I can do that in Luminar, just to be clear, in app, as I've done and shown you, and it'll be mirrored in my folder structure. So I don't have to remember, oh, crap, I did it in my library one way. I got to go back, and now in my folder structure, do it the same way. I don't care about that. That's, I think, a killer freaking feature, to be honest. And so just to be clear, that's not just the renaming the folder, which goes both ways. It's also adding subfolders with names, goes both ways, and photo moves, right? I moved those two photos. Let's take a third one and drop it into best picks. And now there's three in there, including this loop 360 bridge photo. And now I go to finish picks, best picks subfolder, and there it is, last light, which is that one. So again, it mirrors, it stays in sync. Um, I think that's super freaking cool. I'm gonna probably say that a lot in this video. Sorry, but it's true, it's cool. Okay, let's talk about something else. Okay, so the next thing to be aware of is file renames. Um, you can go in here, um, there's an info screen, you've got a file name there. It is not clickable, right? This is your editing tab, by the way. You've seen that a million times in my videos, so I'm kind of skipping that here today. But info tab, it has the EXIF data, so I shot this with my Sony, blah, blah, blah. It was on March 31st of 2017. Um, I love the fact that it's got the exposure time now, 20 seconds. It's just kind of fun to know. Anyway, kind of cool. All the light trails and then a boat went by, so I got that light trail too. Anyway, uh, you've also got the name of the file down here, last light. Sorry, last night, copy.jpg, right? Here's the thing. Um, I can't change the name there, but if I go over here to finish picks and best picks and last light, uh, sorry, last night, I might just call this 360 awesome because it's 360 uh, bridge, and I think it's awesome. I'm a little biased, right? Everybody thinks their own photos are awesome. Um, let me back out of this. And, oops, uh, not there. Let me go up, and then I'll come back to this, and double click, and now it says 360 awesome, and if you come over here, it says 360 awesome. So you cannot change the file name in Luminar, but if you change the file name in your folder structure outside of Luminar, it will be reflected in Luminar in your folder structure there, right? So moves um, and folder changes and renames and creations mirror back and forth. File name changes only go from the, the uh, core folder, wherever it is on your desktop or external drive or whatever. Those file name changes will be reflected in Luminar. Just wanted to point that out as well. Okay, a couple other things about organization I wanted to point out. So 
recently added photos. There's 1,717 photos that are recently added, and it shows you the dates which I added these, which are basically the dates at which I recorded these videos. So if you're kind of curious, um, so on December 4th uh, in the morning, uh, early, I added the Test Picks album, which is 26 photos. So the number 26 here mirrors that one. You can kind of figure that out. On December 4th in the afternoon, I added 1,567, which is my Seattle Picks. And December 7th, which is when I'm recording this in the afternoon, I uh, added 124, which is both the 360 Bridge photos and the finished Pix album. So you can easily jump to these. And by the way, if you just want to see what photos those are, those are clickable as well. So you can click on here and see what was added. And in this case, you've got, uh, because I've added two different folders on December 7th, the first one showing up, these are my test Pix 2, which are the edited JPEGs. And then down below that, you're seeing all my raw files from my uh, my sunset shoot here in Austin a couple days ago. So I, I think that's all pretty cool and kind of a fun thing. Uh, don't forget, um, when you up here in all photos, you have all the dates as well. So 2018, you can come in here and say, oh, December, yeah, I added 73 photos shot in December. That was the other night, because this is December 2018. Um, November, these are all the Seattle photos that I took, etc. So just keep in mind that you can sort by uh, uh, by year and then by month uh, and also by day as you can see. So pretty cool, pretty easy to stay on top of and stay organized and, and that's one of the things I like about it. And then you've got the recently added which so you know if you're like God, where did I put those photos? I forget what I named the folder or whatever you can kind of go look in recently added and check it out. Uh, you also have recently edited. Uh, it shows you what you edited this week and this month. So I have only done seven because I haven't had time to edit. I've been so busy trying to make videos and make sure I know what I'm talking about because this is new to me, right? So I've been using it for a month, but some things have changed and admittedly, I haven't had a lot of time. So I'm still working through some things. Uh, but edit, edits I've done this week, these are edits of photos uh, that I've been kind of messing around. And this is another thing I wanted to point out. When you've got a photo that's edited, it's gonna have this little mark here in the upper left corner um, that shows that it's edited. If you ever wanna unedit the photo, you can just go into the photo, go to edit, and then you could just go in here and you could hit you know, reset, right? You know how you reset your workspace, right? Um, you could go in there and there we go. Uh, you could just say clear workspace. I don't wanna do that. I wanna save that edit, but that's a photo I took in Seattle with my lens baby with the star filter on. So uh, anyway, but uh, in the library structure, you can go in and see edited photos. So another thing to be aware of, and I think that's about it. Actually, you know what, there's one more thing, and that is albums. I talked about albums briefly in the other um, video. Albums are basically a virtual, ver a virtual collection, for lack of a better word. Folders are real, and they mirror the folder structure, and so that's actual real stuff. Albums are virtual, so um, it did actually create an album. Uh, no, it didn't. Um, this, oh, I called it Best Picks, and that's the same thing. So let me kill this, hang on, let me just uh, delete that. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna create a new album here. So I'm gonna say album, and I'm gonna say, you know, fun stuff. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so I was already on that photo, so it added it, but I can take other photos and add it to my fun stuff album. And maybe I think this photo is fun, so that's kind of fun, that was fun, I was getting on a train somewhere, that's fun. So now I can go in here, and even though these are in different folders and different folder structures, uh, both within Luminar and on my hard drive, which remember, the folder structures mirror each other, this is a virtual, I'd call it like a collection sort of, to use Lightroom terminology. I think that's the right term in Lightroom. Um, but this Fun Stuff al an album is just a virtual grouping, if you will, of photos from different places or whatever. It had, putting them here did not impact the folder structure of where they came from, did not impact the folder structure on my hard drive. It's just a virtual grouping. So I could stick stuff in there if I think it's awesome. And by the way, I can come in here and just say, I wanna get rid of this, this is dumb. Um, and it's gone, but guess what? The photos are still here. There's that photo. Uh, I don't remember whichever ones uh, I added, but um, they're still there, so that doesn't impact it. So that's a, I was gonna say quick, I don't think how, how quick this was, but that was a video about importing and organizing photos. I'll do some more of this stuff. Ask me questions. I'm, you know, I'm thinking of things that I wanna talk about, but by all means, if you have questions about folders, importing, organizing, editing, whatever it is, leave comments below, and if I start seeing the same theme again and again, I'll try to come back and do videos on it to help you guys get up to speed. And that's it, my friends. This was about importing and organizing photos in Luminar 3 with libraries. I was a little calmer during this video because you know it's the second video, so I'm gonna try to get back to being kinda calm, but um, it's fun stuff. I'll probably get excited some. 
Uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll see you soon with another video. Take care and adios.